Well, that's certainly the most erotic use of lost property I've seen. Afternoon, Mum. I think she lost a hip there. Now, the Edinburgh International Festival showcases some of the finest singers on the globe. But we think the one to watch is British countertenor Yestin Davies. Clemency Burton Hill went to talk to him. <laughs> the rock stars of the opera and classical world are usually the tenors, those lovers and heroes who are famed and adored for the power of their top note, the sensational high C. But what about a beautiful male voice that can go even higher than the high C? surprising, confusing, even unnerving, but most often otherworldly, the distinctive voice of the countertenor. Well, resonating as one of the world's most glorious young countertenors is the lovely Yestin Davis, and lucky me, I get to hang out with him while he rehearses for his enema recital. <laughs> very glamorous life as an opera singer so I thought I would take you to Edinburgh's finest gastronomic experience. Right then, what are you having? Uh, scampi and chips. Scampi and chips? Ketchup? Really? I loathe ketchup. Yeah. Do you ever find that people are surprised or shocked when they hear you sing and that's the sound that comes out? Well there's been a couple of occurrences where there'll be somebody who's just not expecting to hear a man sing in this way. <laughs> They see the face, they see your beard or whatever, they see you standing there and then you have this otherworldly sound coming out of you, so they're just a bit thrown by it. So go on then, give us the basics. What actually is a countertenor? A countertenor is a name given to um, a male singer who uses their falsetto range. In other words, it's the sound you would hear when listening to, say, the Bee Gees. And if, if, for example, I took these chips and these represented the vocal chords, very bad, greasy vocal chords. When a normal singing voice activates and they vibrate in, in a very different fashion to when the falsetto vibrates, and only part of the vocal folds vibrate in falsetto, I could give you an impression, for example, if I was talking now, oh, and then, give us a little... I want to talk like that, that's falsetto. <clears throat> and it's much harder when you've eaten chips. Um, <laughs> But and so is that the same when we hear about the castrato? Yeah, well the castrati were very popular in the 18th century. And the thing about castrati was they had been castrated. So this had happened just at the end of puberty. So they preserved their treble voice. Right. And they ended up having a sort of power of a, you know, a tenor, a sort of Pavarotti power, but with this strange otherworldly treble voice. The castrati were the world's first musical superstars and had a remarkable effect on the female audience, as explored in the film about the most famous castrato, Farinelli. You haven't had to go through I haven't had to go through that, no. So falsetto is, is a, a completely different skill in itself, um, but lots of the repertoire that they sang now fits uh, the range that we sing. <laughs> 